So there's a new revolution sweeping the world of rhinoplasty at the moment, Peter. And what is it? Preservation rhinoplasty, George. Yes, it is. And we've been through a whole era of destructive rhinoplasty, followed by the era of structural rhinoplasty, and now is the new era of preservation rhinoplasty combined with structural rhinoplasty. That's right. And structural rhinoplasty was originally introduced to work out uh, or to fix the deficiencies of the reductive or destructive rhinoplasty practices. But why have we gone back to a preservation type of rhinoplasty now? Well, we think that maybe people heal a little bit faster and we may get uh, re less irregularities along the bridge and the skin and soft tissue envelope can settle down a little bit faster. And also, I guess, not to destroy it in the first place. No doubt about Preserve it. Preserve as much as you possibly can, which is what we've been doing. So we've had the, the world leaders talking to us uh, today. Here we are at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney at the uh, workshop. AA, 20 FPS. 2021 workshop, rhinoplasty workshop, and next year uh, we're going to have the postponed uh, rhinoplasty masters symposium at Darling Harbour at the Maritime View Museum. And we've got five magnificent international speakers. Uh, we've got uh, Goxel from Turkey and Baris Chakir. Yeah, also Aaron Kosins from Newport Beach, Milos Kavacevic from Ber from Hamburg, and we've also got Julian Rowe Jones from London. Just a stellar cast and you won't want to miss it. First week of September 2022. Maritime Museum, Sydney. See you there. See ya.